what's up people I can't even make this stuff up I just got back from custom coatings from picking up my uh, spider monkey rims they got fixed curb rashed they got powder coated literally just put them in my basement and then when I went to pull around to the front of the house I cut the wheel too sharp and I grinded one of my front rims one of the brand new avant-garde m652s get a good curb rash on it here's a picture of it in the corner of your screen now I'm sitting in front of AutoZone because I gotta go find some sort of touch-up paint that's close to the smoked mirror finish as can be to kind of cover up that shiny silver damage that I just did. I I can't even make this crap up, but this is my life. <laughs> Eff it. All right, let me go inside here and uh, see what I can find that'll cover it up a little bit, and I'll show you in a bit. All right, so I just left AutoZone to get this touch-up paint. They really didn't have many selections to choose from. I had to get something that I thought, based on the label, matches what my rims look like. Anything is going to be better than shiny aluminum from where I effed it up. <laughs> so I went with Ford Imperial Gray because it looks as close to being smoked mirror as I can get. And look, honest to God, I would have just thrown some black on there. I'd rather have a little bit of black just so the shiny shit don't look, you know, just so you can't see it. So this is what I'm going to try to cover up my huge F up today. I knew, just knowing myself, that eventually, yeah, that's good. Just drive right in front of me on a green light, jackass. I knew that eventually um, I was going to do this. But to do it on the exact day that I picked up my OEM Spider Monkey rims from Custom Coatings, who just fixed all the curb rash, is just super ironic, don't you think? <laughs> Whoa, this guy, huge dick. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe that happened. This is what it looks like, as you can see, from where I grinded it down right there. And I hit, I struck the whole side. I actually hit, let's see, one. This must have started there. I don't know, it went all the way around. So I hit that bottom part. That one, that one, there. Uh, it's terrible. The whole half of the tire, but this is the really bad spot. So that's what it looks like. We're going to see if we can cover it up a little bit here in a second. All right, so that's an after. You see the before in the corner of your screen? That's the after. I'm going to take it back a little bit. You really can't tell the difference. Now, I just showed you that the, uh, um, the touch-up paint I bought, as soon as I put it on there, it was way too light. So I used my um, actual vehicle paint. And this matches up really damn good. I mean, look, you can still see where it's grinding. But it looks pretty darn good. It matches it up pretty well. So this is what I used the touch-up paint I got for my uh, vehicle and I'll tell you what it's better than having black on there let me back it up a little bit oh, Jesus. so from back here I mean you can see where it's rough but at least it's not shiny anymore so it doesn't stand out as much and that's it that was caused by my dumbass today. So, you get a before and after shot. Get real close. You can see how bad it was. Well, that's it, people. Well, that's it. As you can see, the touch-up paint that I originally bought, this Ford crap, looked like looked like ass. It looked even worse using this stuff because it's not as dark as the label it was actually too shiny so using the touch-up paint from the Jeep made it pretty much go away it's still rough but it's not gonna stand out like it does or like it did so be more careful pulling up to your curbs people don't be an ass like me <laughs> all right that's all I got for you, you guys be safe and I'm out